So today we're looking at measuring Ali's maximum ability to use oxygen. And in sport and in any exercise, the more oxygen you can deliver and use in your muscles, the better you can sustain performance. Additionally, when you go to altitude, the more oxygen you can deliver, the more likely it is you can get to higher altitudes without the need for supplemental oxygen. One of the things is when you're fitter, you're, you often want to be more aggressive because you're trying to work to your sea level capacity. So the aim is when you go to altitude, you slow things down. So your maximum ability to use oxygen becomes a bonus, not a liability. The aim today is to really understand some of Ali's physiology and see if there are things in there that we can use to refine her approach to what she's attempting with respect to going to the top of these mountains, 8,000 metres, 14 mountains across the world. It happens uh, very quickly and yeah, once you hit that point, then it's just in your mind, like it is on the mountain, except on the mountain I can stop and take a breath for a second, whereas yeah, when you're on here, like your mind doesn't have time to go through the whole things of what you can do. Like, stop, breathe in the bottom of your lungs, you know, breathe out through the bottom of your lungs, blah, blah, blah. Which is what I do up there, several times. So, yeah, it was fun. You know, 40 mils per keg, active trained, but I think Ali has the advantage of that ability to extract the oxygen when you're at altitude and that's the other side of the story and it is one of the things that allows some people to climb without oxygen.